Ljubljana. What could she do here? She goes into this free, lying in fifth place. This is Rika Kiyahara of Japan. The music, George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. We've seen her land triple axles in practice. She landed one cleanly in the warm-up. She intends to open with it as the first element of this program. She had problems with in the short program, the triple loops. Oh, good save. Dodgy landing on the first jump, but still manages to pull out a triple toe to make it a combination. Nothing into the triple loop, and she can't, continues on with difficult choreography. Choreography by former world men's champion Jeffrey Buttle. Double axle, triple toe into the second half. Extra 10%, of course. speed for the last jump of the program. Nice triple loops. <laughs> wow, what a performance. She makes a little grimace there for the mistake on the triple axel. But there are so few ladies performing that jump at the moment, let alone junior ladies. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing, a, a super, super skate there from uh, another Japanese star, Rika Kihira. And it's that triple axel that's really going to separate herself from the crowd in the years to come. As you say, Chris, so few are attempting it now. It doesn't look like Medvedeva or the top batch of Russian ladies want to incorporate that, so Rika's very wise to, to use that in her technical arsenal. 
obviously not successful here, but I have seen her land it, and it's a great jump when she does it. What I find even more fascinating is that having seen her perform clean triple axles, she manages to change the technique for the double axle triple toe loop combination to make it long and low as opposed to this attempt. Here, she opened out, she knew the takeoff wasn't right, that'll be marked as a double. But it was another performance of real character, wasn't it? After a mistake like that, she came back. She was a little bit dicey on the looks here. Look, right side down, not a perfect landing, but she's got the character and the wherewithal to still get three turns on that second jump. <laughs> yes, to your right, a, a, a lesser lady would not have elected to put the triple jump on the end. Here with the double axle triple toe, like I said, fascinating that she makes that jump long and low to secure a triple jump at the end of it. These ladies are so well educated in the techniques of the jumps. And my apologies must go to the... Jeffrey Buttle was a choreographer for her short program, Tom Dixon, the choreographer for this, her free program, and Tom actually choreographed some of my competitive programs. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's very good at his job, as we saw here. And that, I mean, the look, followed by a back outside rocker and twizzle, it's just so difficult. These subtle nuances will not be lost on the judging panel. No, the transitions in and out are so important now. It's not just a case of doing the jump, is it? It's, uh, you've got to make it as difficult as possible. Yes. It's not just a, a base value. These skaters are going for the highest grade of execution possible, landing the jump, but then encouraging the judges to give them extra. Smile and make it look easy at the same time. <laughs> it's not a big ask, is it? Come on. So, where will they put her? It's uh, 120.38, the free skate score, that uh, puts her in the lead and that will put her in the lead overall, no doubt about that. She'll be pleased with that, I think. She's had a 128.31 before.